Hey guys, it's Decoy here with a Riot Shield commentary for you today. I really like this Riot Shield class. I actually call it the Spartan class because it relies on the strategy of you slowly pushing towards the enemy with your shield up. And as they go to reload or switch their weapons, you bust out the throwing knife at them while still under the cover of your shield. And this seems to work really well on headquarters because I just literally cap every single HQ and that allows them to all just gravitate towards me. And I think for the whole match I don't use any guns, no, that's why I use a striker maybe twice. But other than that, the entire match is just the shield kills and a lot of throwing knives. Maybe 8 or 9 throwing knives. So the rest of my perks are, oh, you see it right there, Scavenger Pro, Hardline Commando. The Scavenger Pro allows me to pick up my throwing knife from a dead body without actually going over and finding it and hitting X. And the Hardline is just because um, stopping power is not really an issue for me. I am using the Riot Shield and my, my melee knife, so stopping power won't affect me in any way. And then Commando, of course, is for the added range on the shield. It gives you uh, a little bit further of a hit, I believe. So overall, this class is... It would be better if I had a good supporting team. But I'm playing headquarters alone right now, which I really do not recommend. Um, you can get some pretty brutal teammates who just will camp in a corner the whole game. And they just have no idea what... A headquarters is or how to go about playing the game so this class I figured would be perfect because I would have to be the primary capper if all my teammates were either chilling around the HQ or hiding on the other side of the map and I would suggest maybe having a ride shield person whenever you play headquarters because it really helps to get that push which is needed for defense because headquarters can be broken down basically into requiring two types of players the ones who push and the ones who cap and the push in this game is not as great as it was in Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 would be a complete spawn trap and you just have a safe clear way to cap it but in this one there's a lot of rotating and there's a lot of spawn switching so the best way to defend the HQ is for your teammates to be directly around it. Like on this age, on this headquarters, I would have teammates on probably the rock piles to the backside, and I think there's like little bridges and stuff you can stand on top too. That would be perfect. But my teammates did not do that. Oh, we already got my teammate. Awesome. Love those guys. And, um, oh, this is a neat thing, too. The ride shield apparently deflects helicopters as well, so I can run to the headquarters completely untouched just by raising my shield to the air and pointing it at the helicopter. <laughs> it, these two guys, I think, are. No, I get rushed by too many. This class though was a lot of fun. I I was laughing the entire game. Just every time I'd get that knife in, a feeling of accomplishment would come over me. It was just really fun. And I, I'm I'm practicing with throwing knives lately, so I'm gonna try and maybe see if I can get an even better game eventually. But for now, it's I don't know it's been really hard. And <laughs> here I. I didn't realize it was our team's helicopter up for some reason, and I did the, the paranoid shield block, but eventually I realized, I'm like, oh, I better get to my quarters. Now, um, as far as aiming the throwing knife, as you notice, I don't really hold it down. Like, when I go to throw it from my shield, I just tap it. That way, I have the least amount chance 
least possible chance of dying because my shield is only down for just a split second while I throw the knife. This means, however, that it is a lot harder to aim. You would have to line up the shot before you, not the shot, the throw before you do it. It's kind of like quick scoping in the sense that you line up the enemy in your crosshairs and then you hit with a little delay. And that's something that's going to make it hard as well, the delay. Because every game the lag is going to be different. So every game your throwing knife is going to feel a little different and it's going to require you to adjust every single game, much like in sniping. It's the same kind of concept. So the ability to adjust to different lags is probably the most important thing we're playing this game, hands down. Uh, I think I get a cool little streak in here. Get the one, and then yeah, the hot tail. And Hardline is another perk that I really don't see a lot of, but it's amazing. Like, the ability to have a UEV after two kills is godly, in my opinion. Because a UAV can just can be just as good as any other cup streak. So I go for the predator, and I know they're going inside, so I aim for that doorway. That's something else I've been doing a lot lately. Whenever I drop predators and people are in buildings, I aim for the doors. And if you can get an wow, that was cool. If you can get one right in the doorway of any building, you're more than likely going to kill anyone camping in there. And a map like Scrapyard, per se. Um, this map, just it's unbelievable how many kills you can get predators if you just swarm to get them through the doorways. There's a lot of warehouses with massive doorways, and you can just stick it right through it. And I've gotten three or four kills from a predator doing that on a normal domination game. So, what else to talk about? Um... One thing I might have changed on this class, even though I said I liked it so much, is the hardline. Because on headquarters, you really gotta get to the HQ fast, and I don't know, my guy just feels unbelievably slow. This entire match. But, I don't know. Maybe it depends on what you use it on. I'd recommend, I'd recommend this on maybe Skid Row. Or a good map would be what's that one? Rundown because of the bridges and it's really forced concentration of fire so the right shield will help your team out a lot because you can draw fire and get across bridges safely while they can suppress and kill the guys for you. Yeah. And this this is one thing about the riot shield that is really hard to get used to is because of lag, you're not going to always be blocking what you think you're blocking. So like, if I think I'm turned enough over, but I'm actually just a second late on the enemy's team, on the enemy's not team, on his screen, he's going to view me as being turned away and he's going to get that shot in. So you really got to just take that into account and when that happens, just kind of laugh it off because there's something you can do. And Lag's a big part of this game. A lot of people don't realize that. I mean, personally, I play on a Canadian connection, which is not very good. And I look for other options in the area, and there's nothing really. And it, do it can hurt sometimes, but it's something you gotta get used to. It's part of the game, and once you can use it and just figure out the way around it, you can take your game to a whole new level. So this is the Spartan class. I hope you guys liked it. I would recommend trying it out, at least just just for fun. It's really cool to use, and who doesn't like throwing knives? Right? Because challenges to be done, and prestiges to rank up. So I'm Decoy, and uh, thanks for watching. Our strength goes unmatched. Well done.